Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this nail polish review. Today I'm testing this Butter London that I got at Ulta. It's $15 and this is what it looks like. The name, how much you get. This is the color that I got, like because that's the color that I use the most. And then this is what the bag looks like. And then it has this like sticker. So I'm just going to open it. I'm wearing false nails. It's kind of hard to remove. I'm not really sure if it's because my nails or because of what. I've been wearing fake nails. And I'm not wearing acrylics. I'm just wearing... This happens. Really sticky. Just wanted to let you know. So I just went to the store, but press on nails and this is what I'm using right now. The sticker said lift to open. So you can actually do this. I've heard this a few times. I guess it's more practical to handle this bottle this way. And this is what it has like printed on the top. It looks better like this. So I'm just going to open it. I just gotta say it's tight. Okay. It smells like any other nail polish. So I'm just going to start doing my nails. First with the leaf, so I can know what's the deal with this one, and then without it. Okay, my first impression is that it's kind of sheer. For the price, I would expect it to be like more pigmented, you know? And the brush is not like the best. It's like an odd brush. That's it with the thing on the leaf. And then without it to see if there's any difference. It's actually smaller to, to use this without the block. It's not like opaque at all. And it's kind of easier to just work with it without the block on the top. The formula is weird. Not really sure how, how else to describe this. It's not as... See, that is like hard to do that right there. You're gonna tell me um, you're making a review and you don't know how to describe things. But the thing is that it's too short, this brush. Usually I have more space to work with. You know what this reminds me? I feel like this is like a toy brush. Like one of those makeup kits that they sell for kids to play and stuff. Like plasticky to pretend they're doing their makeup and uh, nails done. You know what I'm talking about? Um, one of those things. I honestly thought this was gonna be like smooth and just like rich and... What I would say to this is it looks pretty, to be honest. The bottle, the font of like Butter London and everything has like the, the word London in it. To be honest, that's why I bought it because I like butter and because I want to go to London someday. And I think the bottle is cute. I guess as a room decor, it looks cute. I'm gonna count to see how long it takes to dry. If you are in the position that you can afford this kind of thing, if you like the bottle and if you want to have like the collection, go ahead and buy it. It's like $15 and you can get a lot more for that money from other brands that are gonna be even better. It's always with this higher end like brands. It's like, it's good, but it's not the best and it's not like the only one, but it looks cute. Uh, in some of them, I think I'm, I just need another coat, especially in this one. So it's been like two minutes, stop right there. I'm just going to touch it to see if it's dry. It's still sticky, but it's getting there. I'm just going to give it this a second coat, which again, for my other brands, I don't really have to do this. I bought this one because I'm switching from non-cruelty-free to cruelty-free, and according to what I uh, saw online, this is cruelty-free, but I'm not really sure anymore. So hopefully this is cruelty-free. If there is any brand that you'd like me to make a review on, just let me know down below because I'm liking this. Not gonna happen like super frequently, but once in a while, why not? I'm letting my nails dry. It's gonna take a while for this to dry, I can tell. I don't wanna go like boom, like that, but yeah. One thing's for sure, I'm not gonna be repurchasing this again because I think it's not worth it. I think it's like super expensive for what it is. I mean, the fact that it doesn't work for me doesn't mean that it's not gonna work for anyone else. Maybe you love this brand, maybe this is what you use. Give it a try, maybe you're really curious about what I'm referring to. I'm just going to be testing this out throughout the week. And okay guys, first update. I just dropped the whole thing while I was taking the photos. I dropped it, it fell like twice but nothing happened to the bottle. Although the drying time is too slow for me, when I dropped it, I just accidentally rubbed my finger with my clothes and as you can see, I have the print of my clothing, this one. Although the bottle itself, it got through the dropping thing, which is a good thing, uh, especially because I just bought it. So different lighting, different day, different everything, but I just wanted to compare kind of like brushes 
so you can see that I'm not crazy. Personally, to me, the size of the brush does matter. The OPI is longer, so that makes the difference. To be honest, it makes it super easy to just paint the whole nail. The brush itself, I'm not really sure why they chose this kind of brushes when it's easier to just paint your nails with this wider brushes. Hey guys, it's been a week. This is pretty much how it's holding on. Remember, I'm wearing fake nails. If you look up close, you're gonna see that there's not smooth application. And that's because this needs time to just settle and fully dry. The bottle doesn't say fast drying or anything like that, but it takes longer than other brands. And this is the kind of brand that don't do right before bed because then you're gonna have a bunch of prints and all that stuff. But I don't really see anything special to be honest about this one. It's just a bottle that is pretty. So yeah, if you're in the market for something cute and fancy and you have the money for it, you can try this out. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you thought of this review. If I should keep on making more, let me know in the comments if you have tried this one and if it works for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. One thing's for sure, I'm not going to be buying another boat. Another boat? What? Maybe Battle London can make better brush. Well, anyways, I bought it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to be happy about it.